Thank you for joining us for our Hurricane Maria update number two. If you missed our last update, we'll make sure that we have a link for that in the comments section below on this video. Uh, one of the things we wanted to talk about were some of the interesting and the unique things that have been happening in and around hurricanes. These things have been going on for a number of years, but don't typically get a lot of media exposure. So we thought we would use this time here today on this update to kind of give you an insight onto some of the very interesting things that are happening around Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and other parts that have been affected um, by both uh, Irma and Maria over the past few weeks. Um, I have been an amateur radio operator or ham radio operator since I was 18 years old and there's a lot of unique services that the amateur radio operator community provides around the world. Here in the United States there's a number of networks that monitor things that are happening um, in the ocean. There's the Maritime Mobile Services Net, which happens on the HF side of frequencies, or what people would call the shortwave side. There's also other networks that do and work with local communities during disasters and also different events. When communications are knocked out in disasters um, in certain areas, whether it's a local disaster or more of a regional disaster in the case of Irma and Maria, amateur radio operators are the service that is usually called up to help to restore and bring communication back online. And that's one of the things that's happening right now in Puerto Rico um, and the Caribbean islands. There are amateur radio operators who have their own equipment, they're all volunteers and not getting paid, who have been a big part of um, transmitting and receiving health, welfare, and emergency messages um, for families, for FEMA, and for other agencies and organizations. And it's a really unique experience. I'm gonna show a little video right now that kind of gives you an idea. This is a video uh, that we took just last night on uh, Saturday, the 23rd of September. Um, and this is a computer program that's called Remote Hams, or a program where ham radio operators can connect their uh, high frequency radios to the internet for other amateur radio operators to use well one of the remotes the one that you see here uh, is owned by a friend of mine in Fort Lauderdale and his station just happened to be in the perfect location to be used to transmit health and welfare messages back and forth between the United States and Puerto Rico and this has been constantly ongoing the Salvation Army, the Red Cross, and other organizations utilize the skills, abilities, and equipment of ham radio operators to provide that emergency communication link during disasters. So it was really cool to listen last night, and we've been constantly monitoring that traffic here in our operations center. Um, if there's anything that we can jump in to do to help out, just to see the health and welfare messages going from the islands here to the United States and also other parts of the world um, that are really reconnecting families. So I just wanted to say thank you um, to all of the ham radio operators. Um, they're volunteers, they don't get paid, they purchase their own equipment and step up um, in the time of disaster to help in these cases, so it's really cool. We're gonna put some links in this video um, to the American Radio Relay League, which is a trade organization here in the United States. It's a national ham radio trade organization. Uh, we're also gonna put links to some of the interesting nets that are part of the uh, tracking of hurricanes and then also to the disaster side. So we have the Maritime Mobile Services Net, which is a net that runs every single day um, and is really an around the world net um, providing well weather information to vessels around the world. There's also uh, different hurricane tracking nets um, that are activated when hurricanes are gonna endanger land masses here kind of in the North America region. There's also health and welfare nets uh, through the Salvation Army and Red Cross that are activated then post disaster. So there's a lot of work that amateur radio operators have been doing pretty much around the clock to keep that information flow moving. So we just wanted to th say thank you very much to the ham radio operators. We hope Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you check back on this channel because we're posting new videos here every week.